Guys, welcome back to the Conserving Freedom Network. We're excited to have you, and we have hit 1,000 subscribers. And I feel like this is a really good time uh, to discuss probably one of the first YouTube videos I searched um, when I got a um, concealed carry license, and that was, do you carry with a round in the chamber? And there's a ton of videos out there all I'm doing is kind of adding to the Rolodex of, of already pre-existing videos, but I think I've got a couple, you know, new angles that maybe I haven't seen in other videos. And again, just my experiences as a guy who's had his, you know, CCW for just about two years now, two and a half, um, as, as the pandemic hit and we saw some of those riots and I got myself a CCW, um, just a couple other things that I've learned as I've evolved in, in carrying a, a pistol. And uh, the short answer to the video, if you wanna end it right now, should you carry with a round in the chamber? Yes, that's the video. But there are progressions to that. There is a, a sense of comfort. There, there are a bunch of factors that lead you to that answer. And hopefully we can dive into them today. So sit back, relax, enjoy. There'll be some shooting demonstrations and we'll dive right into why you should carry with a round in the chamber. Let's dive in. We'll start with kind of the bad things I think could happen um, if you are not carrying with a round in the chamber or in Israeli carry or airplane mode, whatever you want to call it. So that would be a full magazine, nothing in the pipe. And let's just go ahead and show everybody here we are clear and safe. I've got no magazine in. And we're going to start with some kind of fake scenarios of, you know, if I had no round in the chamber and I have to draw from concealment with no round in the chamber and I have to rack my slide. Okay. So the, the number one thing that like irks me and, and no one is saying anything about this is when you go to draw, and you've got nothing in the chamber, and you get your hand anywhere near the trigger as you are racking, right there, you could see negligent discharge. And that could be pointed at me. I'm not gonna actually point it at me. It just feels just super weird even doing this, but, and I'm fired, right? So as I'm coming out of the holster, and again, we're, we're safe and clear, but I could see something like this happening. Right, and I've shot already, and now I've shot at the ground. There, there's shrapnel that's gonna come from that. I don't love that at all. Second thing, and it just happened to me, and I, I beat myself to my second point, as the mosquitoes are just brutal, but second point, I come to draw, and if I have that good high tang grip, I'm sort of almost, if you can see this, I'm sort of almost blocking myself as I go to rack it. So if I'm trying to push off the optic frame to rack it, or even from here, and I got that sort of high tang grip that I'm developing, I'm gonna bang into it and now I'm, I'm screwed because now I'm taking valuable seconds, right? So that's the second one is if I do this at a little bit more full speed, come out and I did it. I mean, I've got just enough of my hand over it where I can't rack it. Danger, right? That's not good. That's threats coming at us. We've got. We've got nothing, but basically at this point, we can throw it at them. So third thing that I don't love, and I'll keep it to kind of three that I don't like, three things that I do like with a round in the chamber, and we'll dive into comfort and how I got there after. But the third thing, okay, and this is another common one, is gonna be just short, being so panicked that I short stroke it. And even though it'll click, that didn't rack a bullet. That right there does not rack. And if I'm coming out, in, in high stress and I do that there's no there's no bullet in there right I'd have to I gotta really make sure I rack it and that's just valuable seconds wasted so let's start by doing some drills with no round in the chamber we'll show it it, it will work it can work you should carry something over nothing let's say you're just getting started you don't carry with a round in the chamber. Let's just look at some times and some things and, and how long it's gonna to take to get that draw to first shot. We'll bank that. We'll go to a round in the chamber. I'll talk about the things I like. 
we'll see those times, we'll compare the two. All right, so I've got my shot timer out. I've got always just kind of one round in the mag. I've just got a pocket full of bullets here because um, we just want draw to first shot and we'll just keep, you know, we'll just keep inserting one and, and reloading. But I'm at no crazy distance here. I'm at seven yards, eight yards maybe. Um, so let's just go ahead and load one in. Nothing in the chamber. And we're going to try to go draw to first shot with nothing in the chamber. And we'll see how long that takes. One of the things already you can see is I don't ever present like that where I'm racking and it took me forever to find the dot. That's not something I practice. That shot was in 398. Now a little bit of that is user error because I just didn't know where my red dot was, but I don't train like that. I mean, it was in, yeah, it was an A zone hit, whatever. That's way too long, okay? So we'll do that again. We'll see if I can improve on that. Two, two, one. Okay, two, two, one. We'll go one more again just to see what'll happen. And I'm telling you right now. I'm trying to not block the slide from reciprocating. I'm coming out of the holster and I'm getting a grip. That is not a great grip. Those are A zones, but those are low A zones. Those are not hits I'm super proud of. I mean, I, I, I can shoot better than that. We'll go look at the hits, but one more. Again, Israeli carry airplane mode. Here we go. Two oh six. That's as fast as I can do it. I don't love doing that. I, I I hate it. But let's go take a look. All right. So these were our three hits. Again, they're A zones. They're a bit low. I didn't love them. I came out with a bad grip because I knew I was going to have to do something else. So let's load one in the chamber. Let's talk about reasons why I like that next. All right. So now we'll talk about. The three reasons why I do like carrying with a round in the chamber and maybe one of the reasons it's not even a reason it's just a reassurance with a good high quality holster and a good firearm like a Glock 19 in a T-Rex arms sidecar it's it's not there's nothing that's going to happen to this firearm to make it go off so a quality firearm in a quality holster is 99.999% of the battle, okay? That's just right off the bat, number one, as I get readjusted here. So number two, okay? Second reason why I think it's important to carry with a round in the chamber, okay? It'll be, again, the exact opposite of why, you know, I didn't like carrying empty is because as I get set in here, a lot of my draw is going to be getting on the slide and then kind of dropping that groove of my um, index finger and thumb into that slot. All right, and now I come up and present, right? So again, second reason is I have nothing, I can, oh, I can solely focus, I have nothing else to focus on other than getting that good quality grip and my sight is right on, okay? So that's number two, okay? And then number three, sort of ties into three and four, is just tactically it's faster. It's just, it's going to be faster. And if I don't have access to both hands for whatever reason, I can draw and I'm ready with one hand, right? So those are probably oversimplified reasons why, but I wanted to boil it down to those three. So the first one is just reassurance, good gun, good holster. Second one is I can solely focus on my grip. And the third one is just tactically, tactic wise, it's faster and I can do more with one hand. I can do more with less basically. So let's run some drills 
Again, same thing, just draw the first shot um, round in the chamber. All right, got three rounds loaded up in here. We will load and make ready. Again, this is with the round in the chamber. Again, good quality holster, good quality firearm. I safely put it into the holster. I looked it in all the way. There's, there's nothing that's gonna happen. So let's run the same drill. I'm right back at seven yards, draw the first shot. Let's see if we can beat, you know, anything sub two is, is a win. And that's, for me, I think that's still slow, but we'll see. One five One seven two to end there. So as we look at hits, hits didn't really suffer, and I like that I got them up. Again, I, I like top of the A zone here. So I had one, two, that was my last one, through that last one. Again, I was that was my slowest one at one seven two. Previously they were it was one five five, one six five, one seven two, and that's not even blazing, but I'm sub two pretty easily. And if I move in a little, if we just go to three yards where I, I barely even need to see my red dot, uh, we're going to be blazing. And, and maybe we'll even just go to five yards and just pull it and rip and, and we'll really see um, how fast we can get. So I'll just do two shots from five yards, you know, just blaze it down and let's see what happens. All right, I'm much closer now. I've, I've came in probably three or four yards. I'm at four or five yards. This is just going to be, you know, grab and, and get a, a flash of a sight picture, even just feel like my 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 uh, weapon mounted light is just pointed at him and, and we're gonna go here. So again, showing you just the speed that we can get to. One, two, zero. One one six. We're never afraid to show you the bad ones here. That was my second one. That was a stinky one. Um, but my first one in a one one six again didn't didn't even see the flash of the dot. Honestly, that's just like I feel like I'm on target. And that's again a point one five or a, a, a sub one point five second draw to first shot, uh, which is what we're looking for. Um, so again, just a quick example. Um, of what we're doing, you know, with a round in the chamber. And again, how much faster it is. Let's wrap up um, kind of with the, how I scaled into getting there uh, through my progression of, of concealed carrying. All right, so we'll wrap up the video here in kind of how I got to the point where I felt comfortable carrying with one in the chamber. So I did start with no round in the chamber the first you know, month or two months that I carried in public. I just, you can, if you started right away, God bless you. I didn't, um, I've gotten there now. So for me, it was walking around the house, you know, in my jeans, um, in what I would wear every day um, and just kind of sitting with it, putting all my shoes with it, just doing just stuff with it. And it was in that, again, airplane mode, nothing was in the chamber. Um, and I would go out and I would just live my life with no round in the chamber. Um, where I really started getting comfortable doing it was at the range, was right here. Um, when I would practice my concealed carry draws and everything, um, I would do some without one in the chamber. And then I eventually just kept coming to the range and I would have one in the chamber and, and I, I just got comfortable. I was like, yeah, I'm at the range. Of course, I'm going to have one in the chamber. What, you know, what, what's going to happen? I'm at the range. And that just sort of snowballed into like, okay, I think I'm going to get in my car 
with a round in the chamber and I'm gonna drive home. Nothing happens and then it pretty much just snowballed from there. Well, yeah, now I just, I just, I don't, I don't think about it. It's just an unconscious thing that I do. Um, and that's how I kind of got to, you know, one in the chamber. There was no secret recipe to it. That's just my progression. I think a great point is do it at the range. I mean, just, I, I think you're just naturally going to feel more comfortable if you have an outdoor range, just doing it out here. Um, and again, I just went home in my car one day and it had a round in the chamber and I, I knew it did. It wasn't like negligence. Like I didn't know. I just, I, I did it. I consciously made that decision. Um, and again, I, I think it's just, it's something that you should do. Um, it's a tool. It is meant to be used in its full capacity and its full capacity is condition one is one in the chamber. So as simple as that, I, I'd love to hear your thoughts or questions in the comment sections. If you want to dive deeper into this, let's start a discussion. Again, we hit a thousand subscribers. I hope you like this video and we'll see you next time on the Conserving Freedom Network. Let's get to 2000 pretty quickly. Thank you guys.